Woo! Hey everyone, this is Jared from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia, guys. Woo! And uh, this is our evening time, drive time update, guys. And this is just a quick one, a fast one. And I got the alien in the house. Got a lot of you guys are requesting alien, missing the alien. So here's the alien, guys, right back at you. And remember, this video is not financial advice. This video is just for educational purposes only. And I'm not a licensed financial advisor, guys. So it looks like uh, Gemini is jumping into Metaverse. Uh, looks like, uh, you know, Hillary Clinton once again is saying that uh, she's worrying that Bitcoin is going to be a threat to the US dollar oh my mg get the merch guys get the merch and we're seeing that uh, you know the fed is about to print more and more money in the house guys so this is not good and uh, you know they're, they're still trying to uh, deny that inflation exists and i really believe that we're going to see the mother of all all stock market crashes soon and it's going to be coming very very soon guys and when that happens you know what's going to happen you know, crypto will go down, but then boom, chakalaka, we're going to see crypto go on fire. And uh, this is could be one of the catalysts that propel uh, Bitcoin to that, you know, 100, 200,000 holy grail zone, guys. So we're going to talk about Shiba Inu. We're going to talk about Dogecoin. Dogecoin needs to stay above 23 cents, guys. Else it could be the end of Dogecoin and Dogecoin could be going down to like 15 cents, guys. So and then we're going to have to wait to uh, Q2 2022 before this thing, before Dogecoin uh, still takes off. Now, I'm not selling any of my doge i'm holding my doge i'm a diamond hander doge i love the doge i love the community the thing that makes a doge really special is the community and even the alien loves the community guys so let's jump into it without any further delay yay 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 so guys and gals don't forget to go back and watch my previous videos you're gonna love it i'm gonna love it let's get it guys and let's jump in the content don't forget hey before we do that you gotta go down there smash the likes for alien smash the likes for alien smash the likes for og subscribe byb in the house you know you want it let's get it guys let's get it in the house and don't forget to comment 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 and if you're watching for the first time and you love this channel you love the og and you love the alien don't forget to give a super chat we love all that goes to support charity here in vietnam well, you love it i love it let's get it guys so we're seeing right now that uh, as i said hillary Clinton thinks that uh, Bitcoin threatens US dollar as a reserve currency. Well, I think actually, in fact, by her saying this, she's actually supporting Bitcoin. And this is actually very bullish for Bitcoin because she just, she's just saying that basically cryptocurrency is a threat to fiat currency. And it's true, guys. Fiat currency is going to go the way of the dinosaur, guys, very soon. So thank you, Madame for supporting the crypto space and supporting cryptocurrency and we love the bitcoin and if you're a bitcoin maxi you're going to be laughing and thinking this is very good because it's going to backfire it's absolutely going to backfire on her as you can see right here so we're looking at the top 10 trading volumes in the last 24 hours guys we're seeing that tether is number one bitcoin ethereum uh binance usd decentralized decentralized mana is on fire guys and once again i'm not trying to shill i'm not trying to push i'm not trying to tell you to do anything because i'm not a licensed financial advisor but I believe that metaverse gaming tokens like YGG, uh, Phantom, uh, Infinity, uh, Mana, Sandbox, Engine, and all of those, uh, you know, metaverse gaming tokens, they're going to explode, guys. And remember, in this video, this this video this morning, you know, I did talk about over about 13 to 15 different projects that I think in the metaverse that are going to be absolutely pumpity pumpy. So go back and watch this this video it's finally happening for x guys go back and watch that it's really important if you guys want to understand what metaverse is we're also seeing that shiba inu xrp solana and bitcoin cash were also some of the top trading uh, coins by volume guys some other stuff that's happening we're seeing that right now that uh, it looks like uh, you know the uk uh, has uh, banned uh, monroe from kraken so kraken has taken kraken has taken uh, XR, uh, XMR and you know XMR is a privacy coin so to uh, you know fall in line with the regulations in the UK uh, they had to get it out of there so you know I don't agree with that but what can you do so if you're a UK customer and you have Kraken uh, you have Monroe and you're on Kraken you're gonna have to uh, you know basically liquidate that coin or move it to another exchange so because they don't want privacy coins guys because you know it's you know it's too private guys and it's it's too secure guys so this is not good news for uh you know monroe uh holders in the house but we knew this was coming people have been talking about it that and then it looks like the uh, the gemini the winkle the winkle 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 loss uh, twins looks like they're going to be putting 400 million dollars funding around to help gemini build the decentralized metaverse so looks like they're also aping into it uh we got uh, 
Facebook is going to be changing to, to like a metaverse, right? We got uh, the Winklevoss, the Gemini, who's going to be jumping in. So you're going to start to see a lot of huge exchanges are going to start to develop, deploy, explore, and start to create the whole metaverse. Uh, because I think that gaming, gaming, tokenized gaming is going to be huge, guys. Absolutely going to be huge. I think it's absolutely going to be going to go to the moon. So let's take a look at the Shiba Inu in-house uh, very quickly. And it's, it's Saturday evening here. It's been a pretty good day overall here in Vietnam. The weather's been pretty fine, no rain. So we can see right now that uh, Shiba Inu in-house is trading at uh, 4865. And that's pretty good. I think, uh, you know, we got some resistance here. I think we're going to get ourselves back up to 5-0. And we're seeing that we're still up 10%. 10%. And we have this huge support here around about 43. And this huge descending line triangle. So things are looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty up and up. And we're just waiting for Bitcoin to take off. And then that's going to propel Shiba Inu to the moon, guys. So that's what I'm thinking that's going to happen. You should think it too. And be positive, guys. Be positive about pop-ups. I hate pop-ups. We hate pop-ups. We hate pop-ups. So also, let's take a look at Shiba Inu right now. And my last video I was talking about, is this the end of Shiba Inu? And uh, like I said, guys, we really need Shiba Inu needs to stay above this descending triangle. It really needs to stay above this 23 cent level. If we cannot say stay above the 23 cent level, we do risk ourselves collapsing all the way down to 16 cents, 15.6, 16 cents. So it's very important that we do stay above the 23 level and we do watch it right now, guys. Worst case scenario, we're going to have to wait till Q2 uh, next year, you know, 2022 to see Dogecoin absolutely pump. But right now, this is a very bullish pattern. We have this whole W pattern here forming. This is a neckline and we're breaking past the neckline. So we really need this to giddy up. We really need Dogecoin to get, get happening, guys. Get happening. And let's take a look at uh, Bitcoin in the house right now. So Bitcoin right now is at uh, 50, 58,534. So it's really unchanged from where it was in my previous videos. So we're still above the 21 uh, day uh, EMA, which is a bullish indicator right now. And we got one day and 13 hours left, left on this weekly cycle and definitely we definitely we're going to be painting a green uh, red candle and we're seeing that for the week right now uh, bitcoin is only down 10.60 percent so in the whole seven days we're only down 10.60 percent so it's not too shabby in the house not too bad guys so don't panic out don't el panico in the house so let's take a look at total market cap right now so total market cap has come down a little bit it's 2.69 trillion the volumes are pretty like it's a weekend and bitcoin doms is about where it was uh, around about three hours ago it's at 40 1.12 so do not panic guys do not panic in the house everything is looking fine peachy keen and uh let's take a look at uh let's take a look at uh Let's take a look at the coins in the house. We're seeing that uh, Bitcoin is still at 58,677, and that's still up 3.34%. Uh, so it's coming back, guys. Uh, Ethereum is actually doing better than it was in a previous video. It's now up 4.3%, uh, and it's 4310. We're going to look at the technicals and TA for Ethereum and uh, you know Solana ADA. So keep keep watching, guys. Keep watching. And we're seeing that also BNB is starting to come back. It's at 4.73. It's up 4.73, and that's at 588 in the house guys solana in the house is also coming back it's up uh, 7.32 percent so hopefully it can giddy up and get back up to you know 321 level and that's that's kind of where the next resistance level is for solana and it's 216 and uh dot is up 5.2 percent dot is up 5 percent guys smash like smash like give a super chat in the house don't forget to subscribe BYB. and dot is up 5.19 percent and that's at 41.68 so it's looking pretty good guys uh, and uh, i got a new haircut you like the new haircut and guys and gals remember this video is not possible without my community I love my community. I love you guys out there. And we're seeing that Shiba Inu is up 11%. It's at uh, 49 right now. So let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at uh, Bitcoin on the four hour right now. So Bitcoin on the four hour is looking pretty good, and uh, it's got some overhead resistance at uh, 59,764. I think we're going to giddy up and get past there. This lunar cycle is about to be finished, and uh, that should uh, you know give us a little bit more push to the upside. And we got that whole November 24th day that I keep telling you about. Let's pray that we get the uh, big pump that I'm uh, predicting because I don't want to have egg in my face. I don't want to have alien on my face because I got it wrong, guys. So hopefully I get it right. And if I do get it wrong, remember TA only works until it doesn't. And sometimes TA does collapse and go down, guys. And let's take a look at the Ethereum in the house. So Ethereum is looking pretty good. We painted this whole W pattern here. Ding, 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 ding. And, uh, you know, we're break, we broke past the neckline. And right now Ethereum is at uh, $4,304. So it's looking pretty good. And I think we're going to be able to break past the 4400 zone pretty soon. And uh, ADA in the house is also coming up, uh, coming up, coming back to life. 
give some CPR for ADA, and it's at uh, 1.88. I'm still not happy with Charles because he was dissing and spreading some fud against the Shiba Inu coin, and he got it totally wrong, guys. So if you if you think that Charles is spreading fud, make a comment, guys. Smash the likes and show the alien some love in the house, guys. You know you want to get it, get it, get it. And let's take a look at Solana in the house right now. So Solana is also coming back. It's at 215.58. Uh, this is on the Binance uh, 4-hour chart. So, and uh, we need to get past the 221 resistance level. I think we're going to get there. And I think Sunday is going to be huge. Pump it, pump, pump it up, pump, pump it up. So with that being said, guys, I just want to say God bless each and everyone. Go and follow me on my Twitter. We got 3,154 uh, followers on Twitter, guys. Get it, get it while you can, guys. I love it. You love it. And uh, it's a great time to be alive, guys. So things are looking pretty good. The markets are looking pretty good. Things are coming back, back online. You know that things are going to be going good, good, good. And I, we're going to see some more upside this uh, Sunday. And then, you know, by the middle of next week, you're going to forget about this. By November 24th, you're going to forget about this because it's going to be a big, huge pump it up. And don't forget to go down there. Smash the like, smash the like, subscribe, comment, comment, comment. Don't forget to check out all my Linky Winkies down below. You know what they are. You know, buy the channel on coffee and uh, all that kind of stuff. You love it. I love it. Guys, don't forget to check out the merch. Don't forget to check out the love mug. Get the merch, guys. Coffee does taste better. I can prove it to you. Coffee is excellent in the mug to mug. Get the mug to mug. Also, uh, guys, try to go and pick up the Bear to Bear. This is a good stocking stuffer for Christmas. Christmas was just around the corner. Order now. Why supplies still last? Get the Bear, guys. And don't forget, we got the hoodies, hats, and all sorts of great stuff, guys. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to go to the Weefy Wife's channel. Go over there. Subscribe. Show some love, guys. And, uh, you know, happy wife, happy life, guys. And with that being said, guys, this is the OG in the house and the alien saying God bless each and every one. This is Ric Flair Crypto. Woo! In the house. and showing some love. Loving you guys to death. And I love it, guys. I'll I'll see you in the next one, guys. God bless you. Spread the good vibe. Woo! Let's get it, guys. I love it. You love it. Let's get it, guys.